A person in Niles donated time and his equipment to remove racial slurs spray painted at Murphy Park. First News reporter Brianna Ray Turner talked with that man about why he wanted to help clean up. Jason Davis was working yesterday when he got called to Murphy Park. Turns out the playground had been vandalized with graffiti. But this is not new to him. Well, I got to the playground and it was a different playground than Stevens Park. So I got to the playground and uh, it was hard to miss it. It was blatant right there on, on the first slide I saw. But this time around, the graffiti was at Murphy Park. The N-word was written along the slide and Davis once again saved the day. I was fortunate enough to have the chemical left over from the last job and once you called, I wanted to get down there as soon as possible to help. Davis owns a pressure washer company, so he knew exactly what equipment to use at the right time. It's a chemical you spray on and then a little bit of elbow grease, it wipes it, wipes it off. I talked with Bob Burke, director of Niles City Parks, and he says moving forward, he wants neighbors to make sure they contact police right away if they see any suspicious activity. And for those that are doing it, you know, if you don't have anything to do, come see me at the park office. You know, we'll build you a skate park if we can, whatever, to keep you busy. Burke says he appreciates the neighbors and especially Davis for going out of his way to help the community. Playgrounds are supposed to be fun. You don't want to take your kid there and for them to learn such hateful, hateful things at a playground. I mean, that's for kids to be to have fun and enjoy themselves, not to learn those kind of things. At. And Niles, Brianna Ray Turner, WKBN 27 First News.